Hello, I'm Denchi here with Cool Retro Terminal. It's this little uh, terminal emulator for Linux distributions. I think it works on, on Windows as well and on Mac, but I'm only really running this on Linux. And uh, as you can see here, it's, it's a stylized terminal that basically looks like one of them old displays you'd find in like, I don't know, a library or something on really old computers. It, it has this really cool fade effect, so I don't know, for example, I'm gonna do what I did before, which is uh, print the logo on the screen with Figlet. I can select it and it, it looks really, really, really bright and annoying, but um, when you zoom out and zoom in and such, it does this uh, really cool fade effect. It's, just, it's very stylized, it's very like cool looking. Um, I don't know, for example, uh, update my system. It just, I don't know, it just, it looks, it looks like a GLaDOS uh, terminal, it looks like GLaDOS's terminal. There are multiple themes, I'll, I'll only really be showing this one, because this one looks, looks the coolest, it's his default one. It's like a Commodore 64 theme, it's like a green theme, but I really like this one, because it, I really like that orange and black uh, computer look. There's like random noise in the background, there's this little refresh thing, like this little bar, there's just all these little details, it, it looks very nice. Uh, although, obviously, a side effect of having this is that if you go to something like KSS Guard, if I were to open a regular Commodore, console window and I look at here see cool retro term is taking up 75 uh, megabytes which is outrageous amounts of RAM and consoles taking up 12 megabytes which is still a lot for a terminal emulator but like still 12 whole megabytes of RAM uh, 75 kilobytes 75 megabytes of RAM for this that's a that's a very uh, large difference but um, it's not that big of a difference I mean it's it will run perfectly well on literally any machine it's not like it's not like it's gonna, you know, impede things. It's not exactly the most minimalist thing. I don't think it has many features beyond just looking really cool, but um, it's, a, it's a, just a really cool looking terminal. I'll, I'll use it occasionally. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll find you'll find it in some of my videos when I'm doing terminal stuff. Um, so you can definitely install that, I think, just by doing sudo pacman minus s y y u u or just minus s cool retro term. And it won't install it on my system. Well, it will apparently, <laughs> because uh, well, I didn't know it was available. But um, I enabled the AUR. This is Manjaro, but it, it, yeah, it should install it basically with this command. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the, watching this stupid short video. I just wanted to show off how cool this terminal looks. Uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.